Birkin enjoys a precious moment of calm and prayer. As part of Istanbul's Armenian population, he recently celebrated Easter. At almost 17 years old, he's proud of his cultural heritage. But it was only relatively recently, when he was 13, that he learned of his Armenian origins. I would listen to my grandmother. When she spoke at home, it wasn't Turkish or Kurdish. My grandfather was the same, so I started to do some research, and that's how I learned that my great-grandfather was a survivor from 1915. 1915 was the year that one and a half million Armenians were massacred by the Ottoman government in a genocide that the Turkish authorities have never officially recognized. Like many survivors, Birkin's great-grandfather was converted to Islam by force. Stories like his, barely spoken of for generations, are beginning to resurface, and courses in the Armenian language are gaining in popularity. People want to return to their origins. Those who found out late that they were Armenian, the first thing they do is to learn Armenian. They may or may not become Christians, but mainly, all of them adopt Armenian culture. Places of worship are also busier than ever. The pews are full at this Sunday service at Istanbul's Samatia Church. And Christians are less tight-lipped on the painful events of 1915. In every street there have always been churches, but up till now they were empty and closed. Nowadays we can express ourselves more easily than before. Nonetheless, many people are still reluctant. Birkin's parents, for example, do not wish to appear on camera. But he hopes to bring the issue into the open so that the lessons of history can be learned. We're not asking for major compensation for what happened. We just want them to admit it. We haven't disappeared. We're here. The trace of our ancestors is here and the cemeteries too. Although we've been assimilated, we don't speak our own language anymore. We're very present. The next stage in Birkin's growing sense of an Armenian identity will be baptism. In a few months, he'll be confirmed as a Christian, like his great-grandfather before him.